The leader of the St. Lucia Labour Party, Dr. Kenny Anthony, has issued a rallying cry to members of the party. They've been asked to prepare for elections. This call comes as the region braces for a series of elections, all seeming to favor Labour parties. Drawing attention to this issue was the Prime Minister of St. Kitts Nevis, Dr. Denzel Douglas. He was here to address last weekend's Labour Party's 64th Annual Conference of Delegates. The Organization of Eastern Caribbean States is at the crossroads. There are important challenges to be faced. And it has been the historic responsibility of Labour parties throughout our region to face the challenges that have confronted our people and to chart the way forward. That is why the Antigua Labour Party was returned to office only a few months ago. That is why next week, Monday, the Dominican Labour Party will be returned to office. And that is why early next year, the St. Gisnevis Labour Party will be returned to office. And sometime in the future, the St. Lucia Labour Party will be returned to office as well. We are Labour. Labour is you and you are Labour. The people of these countries understand what the Labour Parties stand for. Dominicans are going to the polls on Monday with Dominica United Workers' Party trying to reposition itself to unseat the Dominica Labour Party. Lennox Linton is the new UWP party leader and has been preaching a message of change. We are making history right here in Portersville. And we are making history because it is the first time in the history of politics and political campaigning in Dominica that one manifesto has been launched by two political parties at the same time. We are launching here in Portersville and somewhere in, in Canefield, they are also launching our manifesto. They launched theirs on the 13th. They parked it aside because they didn't like it. They didn't know what was in it. And I didn't understand why they were so désolé about our manifesto. I didn't understand why they were so anxious and so excited about it before tonight. Because as we have launched ours, they have also decided that they will launch ours at the same time to their supporters. So we have two sets of supporters enjoying the launch of the same manifesto, the United Workers' Party Team Manifesto. We are launching here. They are launching for Labour Party supporters down in Canefield. History in the Commonwealth of Dominica. The Dominica Labour Party, led by Roosevelt Skerritt, is expected to win the election. The Prime Minister is seeking a third term in office. We are the only party ready enough for its leader to be able tonight to showcase four days after the calling of an election a fully printed and readily available 2014 manifesto. That is our manifesto. That is Labour's manifesto of 2014, ladies and gentlemen. That is our manifesto ready to be delivered to you, the people of Dominica. I could, I could put it on the screen and talk about its content tonight, but I'm going to leave it, leave that until Thursday in the Roseau Valley. Thursday we're launching our manifesto in the Roseau Valley. The trends appear to favor the Dominica Labour Party, which has been heavily outspending the relatively young Dominica United Workers' Party. A poll conducted by the Dominica Labour Party sought to poll its supporters. We get in. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 don't, don't I do think it too we're drastic. Going to get 17 seats. Yeah. 17 seats. Oh, can, can you name 
we have yeah, 17. We have, 17. Mm -hmm. and more. we have more than 11 for sure. <laughs> so We have yeah, more than 14. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, we have more than one within two years. Well, me as man, the juju man, I see 21. I'm not saying the, the will get it, but there is a possibility. You see, in this political, you see, in this political game, anything is possible. But all I know for sure, Labour must make government. To be honest with you, I'm going after I personally. I'm going after Claire 21. But, but the lowest I would give us is 19. We're going to win like 19. But for sure, I know my party is going to win his seat. And the people of Dominica know that it's on ground and it's proven that the government have worked. So for now and forever, you know, you got to give them another five years so that the youths and them and the people in Dominica can rise to the occasion. If I have to be honest, I would want 20. Honestly. But give and take, I'll be happy with 19. Let's put it that way. All right, that's how confident I feel. I feel very confident and that we can do it. We can definitely do it. Yes, well, don't worry about it. We're going to get 21. We're obviously going to get 21, so we are good. I think uh, there may be some surprises in Salisbury and Margaret. These are the two seats I think we have to work extra hard to win, but I believe we can pull it off. The other seats I believe are already in the bag. Dominicans go to the polls on Monday. St. Kitts and St. Lucia are expected to have general elections within the next 24 months.